yourself. dispense with the reading of the minutes of the previous meeting and accept them as written. Did you, uh, Bob, did you see that correction that I had, Ruth, uh, on the mi minutes? March 18th? Yeah, on yeah. the top, yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't have any other minutes in there. We it? had two, I think, the 18th and... Well, but I think they were already correct. Uh, uh, and it was, should be March 18th. Uh, I lost my agenda. <laughs> what ones we got done? You want the 18th? Yeah, you get the new one, yeah, okay. But which ones we got to approve? I lost my agenda. 18th is the only one. Mm -hmm. March 18th. Oh, just the 18th? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, did you see that correction in, Bob? That's all. Yep. Okay, fine. Yes, yeah. What about Rick? Is there a revision that we need to make on this? Or? No. I'll make a motion. We the minutes is written. Is there a second to that motion? I second it. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Uh, the motion's carried. Yeah. Communications and announcements. Uh, we have a letter from Ed Marks. This is to confirm the town of Grammy's request for technical assistance for the preparation of a town comprehensive plan. We will not be able to initiate any additional technical assistance projects in 1998. You were at the top of the list for new projects to be undertaken in 1999. We may want to further have further discussion of this process later in the year as the town prepares its 1999 budget. We look forward to working with the town of Granby. Sincerely, Ed Marks, Director of Planning and Community Development. I also have a uh, letter here. This is from a family that lives in the town of Grammy, Dear Supervisor Keeney, the Scouts, leaders, and members of the Committee of Boy Scouts Troop 751, take great pleasure in announcing that having completed the requirements for and having been examined by an Eagle Scout Board of Review, Samuel Smith was found worthy of the rank of Eagle Scout. In honor of this great achievement, we have scheduled an Eagle Scout Court of Honor, May 3, 1998, at the American Legion Prior Stock, post 1552, 2 p.m., in Hannibal, New York, on Rochester Street. American Legion Prior Post 
1552 is sponsor for Troop 751. We would appreciate your presence or letter or certificate acknowledging his achievement. Thank you for taking the time, busy schedule to help Eagle Scout Sam Smith with his achievement from Tiger Cub Scout to Eagle Scout. Sincerely, Phyllis and Harold D. Smith, 241 Merritt Road. Uh, I understand he did a lot of work over on Merritt Cemetery. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's my understanding. So it looks he did a great deal of work over there for us. So um, I've got it written down on my calendar to try and attend. That's on a Sunday afternoon. As many people that can attend, I think, should attend to this organization. So. Dan, there was a letter from Niagara Mohawk Hubbard. You don't have that, do you? I don't have it with me. Um, essentially, what it's calling for is is. Uh, uh, us to assist them in trying to obtain 20 more households or residences to to sign up in order to extend the line from where it is going to terminate now, I believe, just below Best Drive up through Bones Corners. So at this time, if you folks know of anybody that lives up this way that may be interested, have them get a hold of us, and I think we're probably going to try to send out some letters letting them know what that opportunity is. I have a house up there also. Oh, good. Yeah. Great. Right near Bob up there. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you, Bob. <coughs> okay, on our old business, uh, we have the appointment of a court clerk, which is a temporary position to fill in for <clears throat> one of the other clerks who is out with illness. Um, we basically allowed the judges to give us their recommendation. There were two applicants. And at this time, I would like a motion to appoint Kerry Truax to that position upon the recommendations of the judges. Um, I'll make the motion. No, second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. The motion is carried. We have received the bids. We have opened the bids uh, for the cemetery work. The uh, mowing of the cemetery is a mowing of the town hall property and the community center and also the fuel delivery. Uh, the bids were opened. They were read. This time I would like to have a motion to accept the bids uh, that were submitted. Well, I'll make a motion uh, to accept Proline's bid for the cemetery. No, we have to accept the bids that were submitted. Then oh. we then oh. we have a motion to award. Oh. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I thought we wanted to go ahead with the uh, bid. Oh. We need we need two motions on this. One is to accept the bids that were submitted. Okay. The other is to award the bid. Okay. So okay. I'll make a motion we accept the bids that were submitted then. Okay. This Here's is for the, the lawn. This is for the lawn. The lawns, including the cemeteries, the town hall community center. And it also includes fuel delivery. Okay, but the lawn and cemeteries were quoted separately, so. Yes. Yep. Three, all separate bids, three separate bids. Yes. Is there a second to the motion? No, second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion is carried. Okay, I would like the clerk to reread the bids for us, if she would, starting out with the cemetery work. Consolidated Industries of Greater Syracuse bids on the um, I don't know. 
Right. Uh, I just guess I can't remember. Nine something. It was a low. Ten dollars. Um, let's see per time of mowing on the cemeteries. How much? Two ten. Two, Two ten. ten per mowing. There's five mowing. And there are five mowing. Thousand fifty dollars. Those are the only two that were. Those are the only two for the cemetery. Okay. Um, on the cemetery now? Yeah, I'd like a motion on uh, awarding the cemetery bid. I'll make a motion we accept Coral Ryan's bid of uh, $1,050 for mowing of the cemeteries. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Continue <coughs> for the mowing of the town hall complex in the uh, community center. Also from Consolidated Industries. Eight hundred dollars. Additional cuts over twenty is thirty-five dollars a cut. It's consolidated. Uh, that's, that's Consolidated Industries. Okay, this is from Crouch Landscaping. He will mow and trim for $40 per cut. And $35. Okay. 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 Oh, for a total of $800, and each extra cutting will be $40. Full cleanup, if needed, is $30 an hour. Who's that? Crouch. Crouch. Crouch Landscaping. Line. If it's seven hundred sixty dollars. Additional cuts would be thirty-seven dollars. That would be over twenty. Any additional cuts over twenty? And, and uh, Callum's mowing service. Seasonal rate for twenty mowings is five hundred eighty dollars. Twenty-nine dollars per cut for each additional cut over twenty. Those were the four, correct? Correct. Mm. Is there a motion to award the uh, contract for mowing the town hall property? I'll mm -hmm. make a motion to award the contract of the mowing of the town hall to Callan. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Callan has been awarded the contract. For fuel delivery. Oil, 87 octane unleaded gasoline, uh, 0.5915 per gallon, includes a 5.0005 per gallon New York State motor fuel testing fee. The bid price includes the use and maintenance of one electric pump and one 300 gallon skid tank for the length of the contract. From Glider Oil, we have a bid of approximately 5,000 gallons of unleaded gasoline to be delivered during the remainder of 1998. A skid tank of approximately 275 gallons and electric pump to be maintained by the bidder. The cost will be based on our cost on day of delivery from Amanda Hess Corporation, Syracuse, plus an eight cent markup. 
uh, the price they bid on that particular day was 0 0.5500, which was 47 cents plus 8 cents markup. Seven cents? 47 cents plus an 8 cent marker. Oh, 47. And the other guy is how many cents? 59. 59. All right. And point, point 0.5915. Okay. So quiet is still. Got it right. It's pretty, I mean, it's. I'll make a motion that we accept glider bid for 87 octane unleaded gas. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. Flyer will be awarded the contract. Uh, an issue that's been before the board for quite some time. Um, is Mr. Latino's subdivision roadway. And I have talked with the town attorney this afternoon and discussed with him the, the correspondence we received from Mr. Latino's attorney, and he feels comfortable that the wording that has been presented to us uh, is acceptable. Um, I have put together, based on that recommendation, a resolution to accept the road. Uh, the resolution is contingent upon some monies coming to the town. Uh, a release, a general release to the town for uh, anything that's happened in the past regarding the situation. And also a contingent clause which uh, based on further review or review of documents that are going to be submitted from his attorney to our attorney their acceptability. Uh, I have a new survey which was presented to us last night at a work session, at a preparatory meeting I should say. Uh, what the town would be accepting is the roadways within that subdivision that are currently uh, paved but probably should be called oil and stone type finish to So that's where we are. Um, after our discussions last night, I'm presenting this to the board. If you would like to review the resolution that's been compiled, you're welcome to. Is there any discussion that we should proceed with? The only uh, issue that I'm uh, concerned is that uh, when we did the initial uh, investigation of the, the road, CNS Engineering did the study for us and billed the town a $3,500 for their expense. In the uh, uh, in the process of bidding uh, for the work on this job, CNS is talking of a charge of $5,500. So we're talking a total of $9,000 here of engineering services. My question there is, how are these expenses covered? <clears throat> it's $9,000. We did discuss that once, Bob. We did discuss that the town has to, had to eat it up. Remember? Well, the $3,500 was originally discussed, but I don't think the $5,500 was. And I, I'm just curious, that's all. Uh, I, guess, I guess I would just say that if the road work comes in, you know, under the estimated amount of $30,250, which is the amount that Latinos have agreed to uh, transfer to the town for the repairs and whatever needs to be done to that roadway. Uh, if it comes in less on the bids, then I guess those monies would be applied to as a recoup type situation. But if the work comes in 
Well, that's that's the risk that we're taking. I mean, if the work comes in at forty thousand dollars, then the risk is the town's responsibility. Nine thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. It's the town's responsibility. If we take if we take dedication to this roadway. Well, we did get a, uh, an up to date estimate, Bob, from CNS Engineering, saying that the uh, why do we move ahead with this? That the figures that they quoted us, this was last year, would, would still hold true. We wait much longer to cost the material. No, I'm just saying that there's a charge in there in addition yes. to that of yeah. fifty five hundred dollars. Right, you're right, you're right. But I think we we've discussed in work session, Bob, this thing's been going on for about four years. And uh, Jill, of course, it's not our responsibility. The person's already lost some sales of some expensive homes. And uh, I'd like to see to get this project off the ground to try to get this, this is a potential tax dollars for the town of Granby here. I'm, I'm in a total agreement with you. I think it's a tremendous project and uh, uh, a lot of asset to the town here. Because yeah, we're, we're not, not putting in a $50,000 house. We're talking expensive homes. Like I said, I feel bad for the whole operation, but this is, I don't know, I think it's just, with the, both attorneys involved, it feels like the best deal we can possibly do to get this project. It's been lingering now for, I'd say almost what, four years, Rose, does that sound about right? No. Or three years, anyways. What do you need, a motion? Well, I, I, I think, you know, we need to have full discussion before we come up with a resolution. Here's the resolution. I've got it all written out. That's yeah, my problem is I just don't want to set a precedent for other contractors or developers that may come into the area and expect the town to pick up engineering studies on their roads. I don't think it'll happen again, Bob. Yeah, yeah we've changed our specs and we're in the process of uh, asking for performance bonds, bonds in the future. So I think we're trying to uh, eliminate this problem in the future. Good. I'm just bringing up that issue. Okay. Uh, I will read the resolution I've put together. Uh, the town of Granby hereby accepts the dedication of the roadways identified as Snug Harbor Lane to the point where it intersects with Aspen Cove Lane, and to accept Aspen Cove Lane to the point where it terminates as identified on the survey of the subdivision known as Snug Harbor States dated April 3rd, 1998. Whereas Mr. Joseph and Francine Latino have agreed to submit $30,250 to the town of Granby to, to repair such roadways, and whereas Mr. Joseph and Francine Latino will provide a notarized general release to the town of Granby on this date, 